thing about reference photos that's important is to show different points of view. So we see you doing bird's eye view right now. You did eye level before. You could try a few that are from below because that's the advantage of staging your own reference photo. Because you're not looking for one reference photo, you're looking for several that yeah. you could possibly stitch together, right? You don't wanna to have to set everything up again, so it never hurts to shoot many, many more photos. So you're really thinking about the lighting as you're shooting these photos. Yeah. It always helps to shoot too much. You can mm -hmm. always delete, delete, delete. So you think for reference photos, the motion should be as natural as possible. That yeah. it's, I think it's good not to ask someone to pose, yeah. but just to say, how would you actually do it? Because otherwise it starts to look really artificial. The reason I think it's better from below is that I see all three elements very clearly, the flowers, the knife, and also Ed's face. Mm -hmm. And from above, it's very hard to get that because sometimes in some angles, you can't see the knife. Other times you can't quite see the flowers. Are you finding that once you have things set up, you're changing your mind at all about possible compositions? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> what, what's going through your head as you're actually working with Ed in the space? I feel like that I need to have a picture from the bottom view because mm -hmm. I feel like it's, it's just a more dynamic composition. And that's something you didn't think about earlier in right. the sketch. Earlier I thought what would be dynamic would be just like the linear perspective of the whole kitchen, mm -hmm. but maybe I want a more intimate drawing after all. We'll mm -hmm. see after the photos are taken. I also make sure to take close-ups of everything, for instance, the hands or the flowers, because later on I won't get that chance. And maybe the photos I took before were too blurry mm -hmm. and I couldn't see the detail. You may not use 99% of these photos, right. but this is giving you options. And that's the most important thing when shooting reference photos. I have a lot of students, they shoot one photo and that's it. And I just think that that's a big mistake. I think you have to shoot as many as possible. What's good about that shot? I can see the one hand's actually gripping the tip of the knife as he cuts. So you're it. getting a different position than you had before because of the way he's holding the knife? Yeah. If you decide to develop this into a series of illustrations, you have that option. Mm -hmm. My vision had a strainer in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think that's important for those props to be part of it. It makes it so much more real. You're thinking about a very complete narrative. You're not just thinking about that one moment in time. You're actually thinking about, well, if Ed did go and get flowers, he'd go outside, they'd be full of dirt, he'd bring them in. And so I think the thing that's important to say is that the illustration isn't just one thing. It's a whole arc of the story that you're trying to convey. I'm getting more excited now that I see all the opportunities that we do have. Really being in this space makes me realize all the things that we could be doing that I want to do that I didn't realize before when I was just sitting on my couch sketching. Which is odd because you would think that just sketching out of your head would give you more ideas, but you're saying actually being in the space gives you more ideas. And how do you know we're done? Because it seemed like for a while you were really on a roll and you wanted to shoot more and now you're saying, oh, that's it, I'm finished. I can't think of anything more to shoot, honestly. We could just keep on doing it, but eventually when we start repeating things that we've already done, that's kind of a sign that we need to stop and maybe think about the actual drawing rather than get too focused on taking too many reference shots. But of course, as I said before, there's never such a thing as too many reference shots. The other thing is there's the option if you start the digital painting and realize, oh shoot, I need a closer up image of something, you can always go back and shoot again. That's true. It's not like this is the last time you can shoot reference photos, so there's that flexibility. Right. Actually, what I had planned on doing was start the image, and the more I'm drawing, the more I realize that there are some certain things I need, I'll just go back and shoot more reference photos. It doesn't okay. take up that much time, it doesn't take up that much energy.